Hi, it's Bretton Holes from Prem Squared Consulting. I want to give you a quick overview of what I think is the, the wiring diagram behind how we link all our management systems together. Now, in a previous video, I talked about what I'm calling the modern management system. And this is dealing with the complexity that we currently need to deal with, the uncertainty, the need for agility, the work from home, the new normal, all the stuff that we're getting hit with. And it looks like a, a real montage of different things that we're supposed to be managing as we go forward. It's not that complicated in reality. So what I'm going to show you is how it all fits together. And it fits together a bit like this. Now, it's an eye chart, so I'm going to walk you through it. Overall, we start off with the organization's strategy and values. And under that, we can create a strategy map, the cause and effect relationship between our objectives. And from there, that becomes a foundation to do many things. The core activity that most organizations then do is do a process analysis. Understand how each of your departments and processes contributes to that strategic success. From there, we can build our OKRs, our objectives and key results. Now, that same strategic process analysis would allow us to do process improvement because obviously we can find out which processes have the biggest impact in our strategy and where we could get the best return for investment on improving those processes. Based on that, we can then begin doing strategic project management. In other words, managing your projects in light of its strategic impact, not ROI. So this begins to illustrate the connectedness. If I go back to the strategy map, from the strategy map, that strategy uh, informs us of how the organization should get designed. The same strategy, when put in context, can identify where are our biggest strategic risks. In other words, risks that our organization undergoes that, based on our current strategy, exposes us to higher risk exposure. And from there, build a dashboard or scorecard about that. Likewise, we can build a dashboard or scorecard about the overall organization in strategic context and cascade that down, whether that's by department, by region, by product, by customer. If we go down the OKR route, once we've built OKRs, we can do a bunch of things. We can move towards um, Holocaust, you know, self-managed work teams. We can obviously drive employee engagement. We know employees that are correctly managed through OKRs have about a 57% higher engagement rate. And there is a direct relationship, contrary to what you might have read, to rewards and compensation in those conversations. And overall, that connects to how we do business and financial plans. So that's the wiring diagram. And within this, all those issues that we've talked about before lie somewhere. So, as I said, most organizations begin with a journey that looks like building off the backbone, the OKRs. And that backbone then allows us to leverage wherever we get the most and highest return for our time. So that's a quick overview of how the bits and pieces fit together and makes it less of an eye chart like we saw before and more like a wiring diagram on how these things connect to each other to enable success of the organization. Thanks for your time.